All right, ladies and gentlemen, today I'm actually playing the lottery. I'm going to be opening 99 Trials and Grams that I lost way too much hair over playing Trials. And by too much, I mean I played more than one match. But anyway, today we're going to be going after the Cataphract GL3 God roll, or at least a 3 out of 5. The rolls I'm going to be looking for is Spike Nades, then Amy's Assassin, and then Bait and Switch. I would show you an example here, but uh, yeah, it doesn't show the perks. So... That's what we're going for today, 99 engrams, or as long as it takes. Hopefully it doesn't take 99, and I actually get it. But uh, I don't believe in my in my RNG. So there's going to be a little bit of a, a few cuts here, because it costs 20,000 glimmer for each engram. So we're going to be flying back and forth a lot. But let's get started. We'll get a... Sorry, I might cut out there. Uh, we're going to start with 5, because I ran out of glimmer. And what, what if we just get it in the first 5, huh? How about that? That'd be nice, right? Nope. Autoloading Explosive Light, not terrible, but no Spike Nade, so now it is terrible. Another Fuel Prep Hatchling, Explosive Light, and Garbage, and unfortunately we have five duds. So I'm going to dismantle these, and then go get my Glimmer, and uh, be right back. So here we go again, we have uh, 94 more to go, and this time we actually have some Glimmer, and we're going to bleed shards as well. Hopefully it's in this batch. Did I just go over? I think I did. Okay, here we go. Auto loading bait and switch, and no spike nades. Unfortunately for me, it's spike nades or go home. So uh, yeah, we're going home. Fuel prep hatchling. I'm gonna see that in my nightmares. Another hatchling. Slick draw bait and switch. This will probably have spike nades. Just to oh, never mind. Move it on. Demo explosive light. Also not a bad roll. But I feel like bait and switch is uh, that or go home pretty much. So Vorpal demo, spike nades apparently just do not exist, ladies and gentlemen. Just uh, letting it out there. Field prep Vorpal and uh, let's check this one. And so, oh, spike nades exist. What do you know? But I I don't care for explosive lights, so we're gonna move on. All right, let's go to the post to check the ones that I dumped over there. By the way, in case you're wondering why I don't care for explosive light, it's because it's very situational where you need orbs, and also it's just straight up not better than bait and switch, and GLs already are pretty damn bad. Oh my god, for the love of god, let this be it. Let let spike nades exist in my postmaster next to my lost memento, hashtag ad, for the love of god. Alright, I'm gonna jump off a cliff, be right back. Okay, I'm back from my uh, cliff diving exercise, that was great. Like I said, spike or go home, so uh, we, we went home, now we're back. Eight more rolls. Here we go. One. I need more glimmer. Be right back. I'm stupid. Hey, while I'm filling up on glimmer here, what do you guys think about just like raising the glimmer cap to like, I don't know, a million now that especially shards are going away. So I don't have to do this over and over every time I'm opening engrams because it costs a billion dollars to open said engrams. And um, I'm, I, I want to guess that nobody else likes that feature either. So let me know what you think in the comments. Okay, let's look at that one roll that I got. And... Oh my god, no way. No way. No way. No way. Am I gonna go off a cliff again? We're not going off a cliff! Let's go! Insert MOG go horn here. Uh, my apologies if this is too loud, but uh... So I genuinely thought that I was not gonna get this, and I definitely did not think we were gonna get it this early. But now I'm in a, I'm in a bit of a pickle. I'm still gonna open the engrams, because the point of the video was to open 99 engrams. But here's the thing, I don't want Blast Radius, right? Because that's bad for what I'm going for here. But my monkey brain wants the weapon to be masterworked because I want to see the yellow border because it just sticks out like a sore thumb if it's not a yellow border. So should I masterwork this or should I be a psycho and just leave it as is? Let's move on to the engrams while, uh, while you guys answer that. So I am going to open more engrams for more GLs, see if I can get a second god roll, I guess. But uh, yeah, maybe I'll actually get a masterwork that's not Blast Radius. In the meantime, though, before I do that, I do want to get the armor for Trials for my Titan and my Hunter. So we're going to spend a couple of engrams on that first, and then go back into the GLs. Back at Saint now on my Warlock at the scene of the crime. So we have 54 engrams left. Let's see if we can get a second god roll, but this time maybe a uh, masterwork that's not blast radius. So here we go. Until we run out of glimmer. We actually have glimmer this time. Four, five, six, seven, eight. 
All right, here we go. Th wait, this is the one I already locked. The false alarm, false alarm, ladies and gentlemen, false alarm. I already locked this one. <laughs> All right, here we go. Auto loading chain L. Also an L. Auto loading vorpal L. I mean, I'll check if it has. Nope, no spike. Definitely an L. Uh, hatchling instant L. Donate out the check. Nope. 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 I guess I should shout that um that doing a chain reaction impulse amplifier GL for like PvP is considered a god roll, but you know, I'm not a PvP player. Also, I already have one in my vault that's uh that exact roll. So I don't really care for saving another one of those in case somebody was looking for a PvP one and was wondering. So while I take my little jog to save 14, I wanted to ask, do you guys uh plan to go for this roll for the GL for the cope? And if you have how many engrams have you gone through? Have you gotten it already? Have you still not gotten it and have awful luck? I'm uh, shutting you on here, Giggs. <clears throat> and uh, with that said, let's get back into it. We have uh, 46 left. Let's go again. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. I'm also going to just pull the one that's already a uh, god roll just so I don't bait myself again or anybody else. So, uh, let's see. Yep, there it is. And now it's gone. Okay, here we go. Hatchling, instant delete. God, that perk is just so bad. All right, so enemy is explosive. I don't care for it, but I will check it for the sake of others that want to see that. And there is no spike, so we do not care. Fuel prep, Orpal. No, thank you. Oh, we're here again. We're here again in uh, Cliff Central. Let's take a look. No spikes, and the re the masterwork. I mean, it wasn't blast radius, so if this was spikes, this actually would have been a uh, a preferred roll. Unlucky. Uh, we'll delete that in a second. Hatchling, go away, please. Cascade point, no. Chain reaction, no. And then what is this? Cascade point again in my nightmares. This. Uh, nope. No. Uh, no proximity. Okay. Be right back. 38 to go. Can we get another cope roll? Let's go. This should be a 9 pull. It's 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And here we go. Full court. I think that's the first one I've seen today, a full court. I don't really personally like that perk, though. And now I I, I should just shut up and not said anything. Impulse bait and switch, but uh, impulse is not what we're looking for. But as spike nades. So that, that, that's an okay roll. Not the god roll juicer, but an okay roll. Auto-loading explosive. We've got no spike. So instant delete. Impulse uh, chain. There you go. This is the roll I was talking about for PvP. Oh, and as proximity. So uh, there you go. That's a that's a good one to keep. A little extra full court. Go away, please. Nobody likes you. Fuel prep chain. And oh, our good friend Hatchling. All right, bear back. 29 left. 29 to get one more juicer roll. Let's get it. This is six, seven, eight, nine. Alrighty, we have impulse bait and switch, and that is whiff spike nades. Okay, we have two of those now. Impulse explosive, don't really care. Hatchling, go away. Full court auto loading, still not a fan, and no spike nades, so we're out of here. Demo chain, I guess demo chain could be preferred by some people, but no. No good second column. Hatchling. Hatchling. Demo explosive and auto loading chain. Don't really care for explosive, but we'll check. Spike nades. Alright, eh. Be right back. We're down to 20. Let's go, Slink. Give us something that's not garbage, aka hatchling, please. 7, 8, 9. Here we go. Cascade point. No thanks. Demo vorpal. No thanks. Envious Vorpal, but no good second column, so we are not keeping that. Envious Chain, that's unfortunate. No second column there anyway. Cascade. Man, we're really getting stiffed on the bottom perk now. Does Bait and Switch exist anymore? Fuel Prep Explosive, and... Nope. And... Fuel Prep Chain. Damn. Alright, hold on. So I realized I wasted, you know, 28 engrams going for the armor on my other characters, but damn. One god roll so far. I'm going to open two of these here, by the way. One god roll so far, and we never even got 
uh, an Envious plus Explosive God Roll, which, I mean, I don't need, but seeing one still would have been nice. We're down to the final nine. Place your bets now. Will we get one more juicer in the final nine? Come on. Let's see it. Oh, that's a great start. We are not looking so hot, ladies and gentlemen. Wow, we're just brutal now. We're not even going to see bait and switch, are we? Not even going to look at that. And last one is bait and switch, but it's slick draw. So it's pretty ass. Unlucky, but hey, we got the role we wanted, even though the masterwork is not great. We still got the job done out of 99 engrams. There are the results. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys did enjoy the video, consider subscribing today to support the channel. Also, leaving a like and or comment does help the channel and is much appreciated to fight the YouTube algorithm. Other than that, enjoy the video, and I'll catch you guys next time, all right?